Hey guys, so those of you who have watched some of my past videos, you've probably gathered by now that I like to save a buck. So I wanted to share a video regarding how to do things with your family for free or for very cheap. I know this will come in handy for those who have more than one child. When you're going places for entertainment, it can really add up. So stick with me and I'll share some really cool ideas of ways to have fun on a dime. First up is bike riding. This is not only something that's healthy, it's also a lot of fun when you do it together as a family and it's surprisingly cheap. Yes, you do have to purchase bikes, but you can get them at garage sales, you can get them on for sale sites on Facebook, you can get cheap bikes everywhere. These bikes here, the one in the front, we did pay full price, but we got it at a store that does offer cheaper bikes. And the bike in the background was only $10. We found it on a for sale site. And I did offer to buy my middle daughter a brand new bike, but she loved that bike so much she wanted to keep it. So biking is not expensive. Once you buy the bikes, you have them for a summer or two or maybe three, and you're on your way. We go on pretty long bike rides and my little one can't handle it. So I actually purchased this trailer from a friend who wasn't using it. I got it for $40, I believe. And we've used this now for about three years. So that's well worth the cost. A lot of times on our bike rides, we'll stop for Frosties at Wendy's like we're doing here. And that's a nice little cheap treat. We live near a really nice park, so that's where we like to bike ride. There are bridges, there's lots of views, there's water, there's ducks everywhere. It's just really nice and calming and relaxing, and we really have a good time as a family when we do this. Across the way is a park that I like to take my children to play at, and I will discuss parks a little later on in the video. For physical activity, tennis is another nice option, probably for a child that's a little older. Rackets are about $10 to $15 a piece. I found these at Walmart and tennis balls are like two bucks. If you have a YMCA in your city, this is a great investment. You do pay a monthly fee, but a lot of YMCAs have childcare for younger children so that you can work out by yourself and have a break, or you can work out with your older children like I like to do. My oldest daughter likes to join me in the gym and work out. We have a lot of fun together, and again, it's very healthy for her. The YMCA also offers rock climbing, karate, all kinds of stuff. They offer swimming as well. This is something we love to do. And after you pay your monthly fee every month, all of these activities are pretty much free. So make sure you check out your local YMCA. Now on to the library. This is one of my favorite places to take my children. Everything at the library is either free or it's really super cheap and they have so many educational programs and events. It's just unbelievable. And my kids are bookworms, so. One of the events we went to was a presentation on beekeeping and my children really loved this. The guy was so thorough, he used a slideshow and he talked all about colonies and how it worked and how honey was made. It was totally awesome. After he was done speaking, the girls got to see how the queen bee interacts with other bees in the colony. They got to taste pure honey and they got to make candles out of pure beeswax. Burnt them when we got home after we visited some ducks at the park. Another event we went to at the library was a Paw Patrol party, which was completely free. They played a game where they adopted balloons to show what the animal adoption process was like. They also offered the children a dessert in a snack bar. They played pin the badge on the dog, Paw Patrol character. And they also had a prize drawing and my daughter won the little box full of goodies. So that was super exciting. They just had so much fun. Kids yoga is something else our library offers yearly. The instructor is really good with the children and this is really fun for the children and it's good for their health as well. It's also free. This was a clown magic show. She did a lot of tricks and she brought in animals for the children to interact with. The library has a lot of mobile zoo events as well. Different animals are brought in from around the world and the kids get to learn about them and see them up close. This was one about different kinds of bats. It was very interesting, even though the bats were really ugly. And this was a reptile show, so they had all kinds of snakes and lizards, and they did bring one bird. Our library also offers game nights where you bring in board games and you can either sit with other people or with your own family and play. They offer free pizza, drinks, and chips. It's really fun was an event the library held outside in the summer. The kids got to play with bubbles, they could play oversized basketball, and they got a lot of goodies. Yeah. 
That little art device is really cool. That's a drawing for my oldest daughter. She loves art. The library also has free movies. We get most of our movies at the library. It saves us a lot of money. They have a huge selection and they even have a lot of new releases. was another mobile zoo event through the library but it had to be held at a local school gymnasium because this zoologist had incredibly big and crazy animals the birds were flying around the place he had a lynx as you can see it was really an awesome experience he even had a baby baboon that he dressed in a onesie which was just the cutest thing ever look at that so as I said before, all of these programs that we attended were free through the library. Get a hold of your local library. A lot of times they have packets that show you what events they're holding throughout the year and just put them down on your calendar. It's a great way for your family to have fun, your children to learn, and it's very low cost or completely free. Another very enriching, very special thing that you can do with your children is you can adopt a grandparent. My children, about three years ago, I took them to an old folks home and we adopted a couple grandmothers and we visit them regularly. We bring them gifts, we sit and talk to them, we laugh together, we spend time with them, we make them feel important. And this is an awesome way for children to understand how important it is to give, how important it is to sacrifice their time for other people. It shows them how interaction and positive words and just showing that you care can really make a difference in someone else's life. They're learning about the elderly, they're learning to respect them more. Um, it is just overall an awesome experience. It's really hard to leave this grandmother here. She cries every time we leave, but we are really happy to know that the time we do spend with her really does make her life better. And she gets so excited when she sees us and it's just well worth the time that we spend. So I would definitely suggest that you get a hold of your local um, resident home of some sort, adopt a grandmother or a grandfather, just adopt an elderly person. A lot of these people never get visitors. So this is a way for you to help them out and to teach your children the importance of caring about others. So I hope you've enjoyed part one of how to save money while entertaining your family. Make sure you watch out for my next video and thanks again for watching.